Course Introduction and Business Cycles. What will you learn? Hello, this is section number one, Course Introduction and Business Cycles. Here you will learn and exercise the following. What business phase are you in? Determine your goals, challenges and strategy in the decline phase. Determine your goals, opportunities and strategy in the renewal phase. Determine the highlights of your business turnaround. Describe your own decline and renewal. What is business transformation? This course takes around two hours. You are advised to follow to the end so that you exactly know how to transform your business, which in fact is the process of fundamentally changing the way your company operates. It involves a holistic and comprehensive approach to redefining your organization's vision, strategy, processes, technology, and culture. In today's rapidly changing business landscape, transformation is essential to stay competitive and relevant. Here's a picture of business life cycle. Business life cycle. During its lifetime, a company will progress through a series of different stages, which are the startup phase, the growth phase, the maturity phase, and the decline or renewal phase. For this course, we will focus on the decline or renewal phase. Exercise number one. Determine in what business phase your company is right now. Choose between the startup phase, the growth phase, the maturity phase, and the decline and renewal phase. Take 10 minutes to carry out this exercise. The decline phase. This is when your company experiences a downturn in performance and requires strategic efforts to revive its operations and get back on track. Goals at the decline stage. Recognize signs of decline in your business. Understand the reason for decline and the challenges faced. Develop transition strategies or exit plans. Then the challenges at the decline stage. Declining sales and market share. Obsolete products or services. Increasing competition or disruptive technologies. Strategies at the decline stage. Restructure operations and implement cost-cutting measures. Seek strategic partnerships or acquisitions. Consider business closure or divestment options. Exercise number two. If your company is in the decline phase, determine your goals, your challenges, your strategy. Take 10 to 20 minutes to carry out this exercise. Then we come to the renewal phase. The renewal phase. This is when your company implements strategic efforts to bounce back from a decline, rejuvenate your operations and regain momentum for future success. Goals at the renewal stage. Identify opportunities for revitalization and reinvention. Address challenges and reposition in your market. Focus on growth and sustainability. Opportunities at the renewal stage. Introduce new products or services. Adopt emerging technologies and or business models. Enhance brand image and customer engagement. Strategies at the renewal stage. Conduct a comprehensive business review and analysis. Develop a strategic plan for transformation. Implement change management and innovation initiatives. Exercise number three. If your company is in the renewal phase, determine your goals, your opportunities, and your strategy. Take 10 to 20 minutes to carry out this exercise. Step 1. Business Model Transformation 
This course is about how to transform your business model with the objective to regain your market position and sales. Business model transformation refers to the process of altering the fundamental way your company operates and delivers value to customers in order to improve your performance, competitiveness and adapt to changing market conditions. Step 2. Reorganization After step 1 we need to synchronize the new business model with the organization. A reorganization is where an organization changes the way it operates, usually by changing the way teams or roles are organized. The main activities are Get accurate data and insights. Make the case for change. Keep communicating. Review the changes. Step 3. Business development. After reorganization, we need to grow again. Business development is a process aimed at growing your company and making it more successful. That may include seeking new business opportunities, building and sustaining connections with existing clients, entering strategic partnerships, and devising other plans to boost profits and market share. The main activities in business development are market research and analysis, establish clear goals and objectives, generate and qualify leads, build relationships and present solutions, negotiate and expand, continuously evaluate. Exercise number four. Determine the highlights of your business turnaround. The main steps include business model transformation, reorganization, and business development. Take 20 to 45 minutes to carry out this exercise. Turnarounds. The best comebacks and turnarounds. The biggest comebacks and turnarounds in business have been with companies such as Apple, IBM, General Motors, Netflix and Tesla. Apple The decline. In 1985, Apple fired the founder of the company, Steve Jobs. What followed was a downfall of the company, which was greatly influenced by the products they were offering such as Macintosh TV. The press then started criticizing the company due to the soar decrease in company's sales volume. Restructuring and comeback. With the purchase of computer maker startup founded by Jobs, this saw his return. He quickly grabbed the management and control of the company and took three decisive steps towards making the company a trillion dollar worth. First, a cap capital infusion was needed, which Steve Jobs took from Microsoft in exchange for rights to ship Microsoft Office and Internet Explorer on the Macintosh. Second, Jobs di diversified into making other products such as iMacs, iPods and iPhones. Third, Apple stores were also opened, putting his products front and center. Today, Apple is one of the best companies in the world, doing so well that it has been termed as one of the greatest business comebacks over the last three decades. IBM The decline. IBM was one of the pioneering companies that revolutionized personal computers in the early 1980s. In the 1990s, the company started losing its market share and the risk of being irrelevant. Losses amounting to $8 billion were announced from the technology investments the company had invested in 1993, the biggest company loss in history up to that point. Restructuring and comeback. The company took an action which was changing the management of the company, and this saw Lou Gerstner recruited as the new CEO. Under the leadership of Gerstner, the company invested in software lines and IT service areas. Today the company has registered growth 
and its market cap is more than $210 billion. General Motors Decline, The decline Late 2000s, General Motors faced huge losses and it filed bankruptcy. As a result, tens of thousands of its workers were laid off. The sales were very low and the company's future looked grim. In 2008 and 2009, General Motors got a fusion cash from the United States government worth $51 billion to help keep its operations go ongoing and running. Restructuring and come back. General Motors, in its process of restructuring its operations, it did away with products such as Pontiac, Saturn and Hummer that were all underperforming. This course of action saw General Motors re-emerge from bankruptcy in 2009. The government also decided to sell its share and by the end of 2013 the government had sold all its shares, capping an impressive turnaround that saved an estimated 1.2 million jobs. Netflix The decline Quickster was the Netflix greatest failure and bad strategy of making more profits. Quickster was a service that Netflix created to separate unlimited streaming and DVDs dispatch by mail plan to be separate services. This move by the company created an exodus of more than a million subscribers who fled Netflix in a single quarter. The stock shares plumped from $300, $300 a share to $65 by year end. Restructuring and come back. Although the company apologized and scrambled Quickster, they were not able to recover until the release of original series such as House of Cards, which was launched in 2013. The stock shares Sky rocketed once more to nearly $400 per share. Tesla Decline and come back Tesla Motors is an example of a business comeback that has fought back from the verge of closing business. The California-based company met its problems when financing from major investors dried up. But Elon Musk restructured the company and through his efforts Tesla was thrived and is currently one of the biggest companies in the entire world. Exercise number 5. Think of your own company. Describe the following topics that will help you improve your company's performance. How and why your company declined in sales. How your company will come back in your market. Take 20 to 45 minutes to carry out this exercise. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. After the course introduction, you have gained knowledge on business cycles in general and related to your own company. If you have any questions, please contact. Stay tuned for the next video. Contact errol.vanengelen at yahoo.com